before I begin, I have a riddle for you. Think about it and try to answer. Ready? Here we go. This place is green, has a lot of grass, it has lovely swings and a walking path. You go with your parents and enjoy with friends. There are trees which are tall. You can run and play with the ball. Where am I? Yes, I am talking about a park. Hello and Namaskar everyone. Welcome to a session filled with fun, stories, games and a lot of counting. Let's play a game. And for that, I have my friends with me. Hello Kishore. Hello Nitya. Hello. Hello, Hello friends. How are you all? I am fine. Do you like to play games? Yes. Which games do you like to play Nitya? I like to play hide and seek. And what about you Kishore? I like to play Ludo with the dice. Oh great. And do you know today also we are going to play a game but using two dice. Are you excited? Yes. Let's move ahead and roll the dice one by one. And the child who scores more is the winner of the round. Let's play. So let's start. Kishore, it's your turn first. Pick up the dice and throw them. Kishore has got the numbers. Five and one. And how much is five plus one? Five and one are six. Great. Kishore has got the number six. Let's see what Nitya gets. Nitya, it's your turn. Pick up the dice and throw them. Great. Nitya has got four and one. How much is four plus one, Nitya? Four plus one is called to five. Yes. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. In the first round, Kishore got the number 6 and Nitya got the number 5. That means Kishore was the winner. Here, let's move to the second round and see who becomes the winner now. Kishore, please throw the dice again. Kishore has got 2 and 2. How much is 2 plus 2, Kishore? And 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Great. So the number for Kishore is 4. Let's move to Nitya's turn. Please pick up the dice and throw them again. Nitya has got 5 on one dice and 2 on the other. How much is 5 plus 2, Nitya? 5 plus 2 is called to 7. Great. That means... Nitya has won this round. Congratulations, Nitya. So like this, you can play the game with the dice with your friends, family and your teacher. So keep playing and try to find out who gets the biggest number and becomes the winner. Kishore, we have 3 plus 4 here and 3 beads are already colored. So, how many beads you need to color now? Four. Great. Please go ahead. Nice. But how many colored beads we have in total now? We have... 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I got 7 beads. Great. That means 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Kishore, please write the total number also. Dear friends, it is Nitya's turn now. We have 4 plus 2. 4 beads are already colored. How many beads we now need to color, Nitya? Two. Great. Please color two beads. Nice. 
dear learners just like kishore and nitya you can color the beads and find the total for the remaining parts i hope it was fun we played with the dice we did some coloring and we counted a lot of object it's jumping time now in the first task we need to add 4 and 2 to do that we come on the number 4 by making a long jump and after that we make another long jump to two numbers that is after 4 we jump to the number 6 yes so we reached at 6 4 plus 2 and we are at 6 in the next task we need to do 3 plus 2 any guesses how can we do that hmm we come to the number 3 first and then make a jump of two numbers right and we reach at the number 5 finally so 3 plus 2 we are at 5 we have two more jumping tasks for you keep jumping in your book and keep learning dear students after learning so many methods of adding numbers we have two children who are doing addition in their different ways let's read what are the instructions add in your own way abdul and rihana are adding numbers in two different ways help them to find the sum friends we have two representations here in the first one we have numbers written one below the other in the next we have numbers written one ahead of the other let's see if they give the same answer we have 2 plus 3 2 on the top and 3 on the floor we do addition 2 plus 3 so here 2 3 4 and 5 the answer is 5 so write the number 5 here just below the 2 and 3 in the next representation we have 2 plus 3 written ahead of the number again we can do the same thing 2 plus 3 and this time let's count the numbers all together 1 2 3 4 and 5 we again got the number 5 that means if you use this representation or this representation the answer remains the same friends solve the given below questions in your own ways dear learners till now we were having two numbers and we were finding the total number but here in this amazing task you are given the total number and you need to find the pair of numbers that will make it dear friends in the first part we are given the number 8 so how can you make 8 using two different numbers we can use 1 plus 7 which gives 8 2 plus 6 which again makes 8 3 plus 5 that also makes 8 and then can you guess hmm 4 plus 4 also makes 8 and then 5 plus 3 also makes 8 can we have one more pair of numbers yes 6 plus 2 also makes 8 so just like these complete all the circles given here dear friends we just discussed how can we make the same total number using different pair of numbers similarly we have a matching task here let's try to solve the given example is 6 plus 3 
so six here and three more so how many are there one two three four five six seven eight and nine so we match six plus three with nine and did you notice five plus four also gives us nine so we match nine with these numbers also let's try to solve one more part 1 plus 4 how many are 1 plus 4 it is just in your hand 1 plus 4 it gives you 5 so match 1 plus 4 with 5 let's see which other numbers make 5 is 4 plus 2 making 5? No. 3 plus 4 making 5? No. Is 3 plus 2 making 5? Can we check? 3 and 2. Yes. 3 plus 2 again makes 5. So let's join the number 5 here with 3 plus 2. Friends, explore these numbers and find different ways to find the same total. Keep learning, keep doing these tasks and we will move ahead now. Friends, after playing and a lot of counting, it is story time now. So we have few addition stories here in the textbook. Let's try to find what is there. Part A. Raghav has four shells and Sarita has five shells. How many shells they have all together? We have discussed a lot of methods to find these all togethers. Can we use our fingers? Or if we have, we can use the shells also. Let's try with the fingers. First, four shells for Raghav and five shells of Sarita. In total, we have five, six, seven, eight and nine. Nine shells all together. Simple enough? Yes. Just like this, solve the marble addition story and the coconut addition story. I am sure you are going to enjoy these tasks. Dear learners, we just explored and counted the things around us. We counted the shells, we counted the coconuts and marbles too. Now, let us move to the classroom and let us see what we have in our bags. Do these tasks with your friends and write down the answers here. Part A. I have dash books in my bag. So, how many books you have in your bag? Write it here. And my friend has dash books. Just look at your friend's bag also. How many books your friend is having? Next, we both have dash books in all. Learners, we just need to count the total books. The books that you have in your bag and the books that your friend has in your bag. Let's say if you have three books and your friend has two books. So, all together you have five books. So, write the number 5 if that is the case. Similarly, explore your bags and find out the pencils and the number of notebooks also. Play, explore and learn with these numbers. We will meet in another session. Till then, keep thinking, keep playing, keep learning and keep enjoying. Bye-bye. And Namaskar.